uh, BlackRock, a global leader in investment management, has revised its proposed to spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund to allow uh, cash redemptions. This update could be a strategic move in gaining approval uh, from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. An updated filing for the iShares Bitcoin Trust ETF indicates that the trust will issue and redeem baskets in exchange for cash. This flexibility subject to regulatory approval can also extend to Bitcoin exchanges in the future. Eric Balchunas, a respected Bloomberg analyst, highlighted the importance of this update on the X platform, terming it a wrap. This move signifies BlackRock's commitment to aligning its offering with regulatory expectations, potentially paving the way for the long-awaited green light from the U.S. SEC. According to Balchunas, the shift to cash redemptions means BlackRock would accept cash to create new shares and vice versa, diverging from the typical ETF model where assets like a Bitcoin uh, could be directly exchanged for ETF shares. Uh, uh, BlackRock has gone cash only. That's basically a wrap. Debate over in kind will have to wait. It's all about getting ducks and OBF holidays with sign. Um, uh, Eric Dalchunas, which is December 19th, uh, 2023, someone at nine. Uh, this private that watched at this point. Vance Herwood, an investor and consultant specializing in volatility as an asset class, also offered insights on BlackRock's update. Herwood explained that the cash only approach for authorized participants uh, means that ETF shares will be exchanged solely for cash uh, rather than in kind asset transfers like Bitcoin. So, uh, this approach, while adding a layer of transactional steps, uh, is seen as a minor impact on the scale of these funds. The SEC's apprehension towards in-kind transfers for spot Bitcoin ETFs is understandable, according to Herwood, considering the transparency and origin of the underlying Bitcoin. Uh, and so Herwood's analysis further suggests that this cash-only method could streamline the process, ensuring that the ETF acquires its Bitcoin from reputable sources, thereby aligning with regulatory standards. This method could also simplify the redemption process, where APUs return ETF shares to the issuer in exchange for cash, maintaining a clear and transparent transactional flow. Oh, meanwhile, aside from the cash redemption amendment, recent interactions between BlackRock and the U.S. SEC suggest an intensified effort to navigate the regulatory landscape to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs. According to James Seifart, Bloomberg's ETF analyst, BlackRock recently had its third meeting with the SEC in several weeks, a signal of severe and ongoing discussions. Seifart's ex-post also revealed similar engagements by other key players in the industry, including Fidelity, Grayscale, and Franklin. Uh, these meetings attended by the uh, Division of Trading and Markets and the uh, Division of Corporate Finance uh, are critical. These are the SEC divisions that will ultimately uh, decide the fate of um, spot Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, uh, the involvement of these divisions uh, underscores the comprehensive review process undertaken by the U.S. SEC and highlights uh, the collaborative efforts by issuers like BlackRock uh, to address regulatory concerns. The presence of these key SEC divisions in the meetings indicates a constructive uh, dialogue and potential progress uh, toward approving these spot ETF products.